Hello everyone, my name is Carlos and on this video I'm going to show you how to upload a historical trial balance from QuickBooks to NetSuite. Stay tuned. Okay, for this video we are going to be using these three elements, a net change trial balance, chart of accounts mapping, and a CSV template. I'll explain in a little bit what net change trial balance is. As for the chart of accounts mapping, in addition to mapping the corresponding, corresponding accounts from QuickBooks and NetSuite, I also mapped the corresponding classes departments and a custom custom segment and i'll show you how the csv template uh, looks like okay in fusion we use a combination of power query and power pivot uh, we have a couple of templates these uh, basically allows us to to automate these uh, the information transformation uh, process okay uh, in in regards to the net change drive balance as you know when you download a chart balance from a for, from a system, for example, QuickBooks, you will see that the balances as of each period represents the accumulated balance as of that date. For example, in January, uh, if we have a ten dollar balance in assets, and in February a fifteen dollar balance, that means that there was an increase of five dollars. The net change is five dollars. If I, if I upload $10 in January and $5 in February, I will get the corresponding $15 balance as of February. So I will need to transform me, my, my downloaded trial balance to this net change trial balance in order to have the correct balance as of each month. Another approach is to upload this entire balance and this entire balance, but reverse this journal, the, the, this trial balance as of the beginning of February. That way I will have in February, February the correct, the correct uh, balance. But in this case, we are using this net change approach. Okay. Let me show you the, how the information looks like from QuickBooks. So this is the trial balance from QuickBooks. It's a sandbox company. I have the corresponding 12 months here. And this is the mapping that I created. Uh, first column is the accounts from the QuickBooks account, corresponding accounts uh, in NetSuite, uh, corresponding internal IDs for accounts, corresponding internal IDs for department, class, and this custom segment. As I mentioned earlier, we use a combination of Power Query and Power Pivot. So basically, I'm connected to the trial balance uh, using this query right here and to the chart of accounts mapping right here. I have this little warning sign because I open the source files and what that happens, uh, Power Query lets you know that you can't refresh your queries, but in this case, we are okay. And using the Power Pivot, I came up with this 12 month PNL. In this summary, PNL by department. Uh, I made sure that these balances match what I have in QuickBooks. So if I, you know, do the upload uh, and I use the correspond the correct information, I'm supposed to see this and this in NetSuite. Let me show you how the CSV template looks like. And let me show you how the CSV template looks like. So right here we have the corresponding monthly dates internal IDs for accounts, department class, and constant segment corresponding memo here, debits and credits. Okay, let's go to setup. I already have a saved CSV import template file. Okay. I already mapped everything, but uh, a side note, this is the field that you will need to add to your mappings if you are using the reversal approach. Okay, you will need to add this field from NetSuite and you will need to add the reversal date column from your CSV here. But in this case, we are using the net change. Okay, so we are not going to use that reversal date column. Let's run this. And let's wait for NetSuite to process this information. Okay, this is the journal entries right here, each month, right? Now let's check the financial information. Let 
have this PNL that I created to confirm that everything matches. So you can see at the end of the period, we have the corresponding net income of $85,000. It matches what we have in my pivot table here. And each month, month balance matches as well as each balance per month and account right here. The department PNL. So you can see admin job materials, product services, and their corresponding balance match what I have in this pivot table here. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up. You can also find loads of other accounting software tips on our website at www.fusiontaxes.com.